Hello guys, this is Lisa from Daily Life Engineering. Today I will discuss about spring and if we apply any force in spring then the what will be the shear forces, uh, the total shear force and maximum tau. I will discuss about it today. So let's know something, uh, some important things about spring. Here we denote the capital D as the diameter of spring and the small d denotes the diameter of wire and so as it have the diameter of wire so r small r is the radius of the wire f and if we apply force on the center of gravity of the spring uh, i mean cg we will use the short form of this and if we don't apply force on the uh, center of gravity then it's called the eccentric force so here we have a figure uh, about a helical spring so let's know some important uh, things about spring n denotes uh, as the number of coil of spring and capital d denotes the spring diameter and small d di um, denotes the diameter of spring wire and g is the modulus of rigidity and delta is the deformation of spring due to applied force and f is the applied force in the spring and k is the spring constant uh, there are various kind of spring we see in our everyday life like leaf spring which we use in our track or uh, car something like that and spiral spring this is very common spring and spring washers um, loop spring and torsion spring uh, in our hair clip or something uh, and somewhere we uh, use torsion spring so let's move to the uh, another important topic modulus of rigidity g uh, is equal to tau by uh, gamma tau uh, denotes as shear stress and gamma denotes as shear strain uh, spring constant k is equal to applied force by the deformation of spring due to applied force i mean delta and the torsional force is equal to uh, the torque i mean the shear force into c divided by j we'll talk about c later and j is called the pump polar moment of inertia which is equal to pi by 32 into small d to the power 4. Here we can see uh, a figure of the wear of the spring and where, uh, where torque is applied to this uh, direction and shear force uh, act parallel to the cross section, uh, cross section of spring wear which is this direction. This is the cross section of uh, the spring wire. And let's talk about C, which we escaped earlier. And wire force is maximum on the outer surface of the spring wire. Due to the, uh, due to the shear force, uh, there is a force, uh, force acting on the outer diameter of the spring wire, which we denote as C. So if we, uh, if we, uh, consider t equal uh, t equals to torque then equals to torque equals to force into distance from the center of uh, gravity where we applied the force uh, the external force i mean normally applied force on the spring wire area uh, creates shear stress so tau is equals to a by a where a is the area of the wire and area of the wire is pi by 4 small d to the power 4 but due to the applied force on the spring torque generates so uh, torques uh, torques equation is tau is equal to f into d by 2 then but again torque also creates shear stress that's why um, again the um, shear stress equal to torque into c by j so we can write T as uh, as this form, and we can write C we as this. So C is the is equals to d by two, small d by two, which was the diameter of the wire, and we can write it as R. So and J is the polar moment of inertia. 
so we uh, uh, we calculate the total shear force is a by a which we derive here and plus tc by j, uh, j which we derive here so uh, let's sum, uh, make its summation um, so t max we are putting this value here t equals to uh, fd by 2 here we can see this one and uh, j equals to pi by uh, 32 a small d to the power 4 uh, which uh, if this is the experimental value of a spring um, this is experimented and if you want to know more about this uh, you can uh, know from your uh, professor which uh, who have done PhD on it. So we are doing summation of that. After uh, after doing calculation, we have derived this this one. But here is the uh, C prime. We are taking C prime just because is this the ratio we have considered is the uh, C prime is the ratio of spring diameter and spring wire diameter. So instead of uh, small d by uh, 2 capital D, we are taking 1 by 2 C prime. So here is our calculation. But for a particular spring, the value of C prime is constant. So let's assume a constant Ks which will uh, displace this constant. Uh, so we can uh, write down the tau max equal to 8 fd by pi d cube into ks but we have been using tau equal to tc by j till now for our spring but that equation only applicable in case of straight wire but in our spring, spring the spring wire is not always straight uh, the spring wire is curved somewhere so uh, we have to put uh, we have to take under consideration the curvature curvature things so we are putting kc uh, which is denotes for the curvature correction factor so we are multiplying this kc with the tau max we have uh, we have uh, calculated earlier so for a fixed spring ks and kc are constant so we are displacing these two constant with another constant kb this is the experimental value of kb uh, and we can see the last we displacing um, ks into kc by kb here is our tau max equal to kb into 8 fd by pi d small d cube so guys that's what i was trying to uh, i was trying to explain uh, this is the uh, shear stress uh, uh, forms in the spring while we apply external force uh, this is how we can calculate and thank you um, thank you everyone if it is helpful to you then please subscribe my channel and like this video and if you don't like it you can express it to the comment section so have a nice day